Have you ever wondered why power quality matters so much? Well, the answer lies in something we care about, money. Whether you are an industrial player or a home user, the economic impact of power quality can't be ignored. People lose a huge amount of money, millions of dollars every single year due to poor power quality. In today's video, we are going to dive into why power quality is crucial and how it affects both industries and utilities. Now, there are two point of views to look at the issue of power quality. One from the customer perspective, and now here I'm majorly talking about the industrial customers. And the another one is the utility perspective, the company that provides you the electricity. Let's start with the industrial side of the things. In the recent years, industries have heavily leaned on automation and modern technology to stay competitive. While this new energy efficient equipment is great for cutting cost and improve productivity, it often comes with a catch. It's more sensitive to the fluctuation in the supply voltages than older electromechanical systems. Imagine this, a momentary power disturbance, something as simple as a brief utility breaker operation could shut down an entire production line. And what's the cost? A whooping $10,000 maybe, just to get everything running back again. In some cases, it can take up to four hours to restart the whole production line. In industries like semiconductor manufacturing, even brief voltage sags can lead to massive losses. This problem became so significant that a whole new standard was developed, semi standard F47. This standard outlines the requirement for voltage sag immunity in semiconductor equipment, ensuring they can handle these momentary disturbances without causing huge financial losses. Here are some of the common problems faced by the industrial customer due to poor power quality. One, overheating of the three phase motors and stress leading to mechanical failure. Now this is very, one of the critical problem of uh, the industry where the motor fails to start or uh, just overheats. Then reduced equipment lifetime. Again, of course, because of the heating, the overall life of the equipment will go down. Poor power factor and penalties on electricity bill. Now this is again one of the significant important because utility will charge you direct amount of money if you maintain poor power factor. Higher CO2 emissions due to the inefficient operation for sure. Unwanted tripping of contactors and control relay. Now this can very well lead to the misoperation of the devices because your contactors and relays are getting tripped. Process stoppages, production losses and data corruption is uh, again one of the biggest challenge. Non-compliance with the grid codes, additional service and maintenance cost. Certainly uh, there is a long list of uh, the issues and all these issues are small issues. Well, certainly not. They are huge issues and they can cost huge amount of money. See, it's a serious topic for sure. Now let's switch to the utilities. Power quality is a big deal for them too. Keeping customers happy and maintaining trust are the top priorities, especially now with the uh, deregulations and competition in the energy sector. A few years back, there used to be only one or two power utilities, but that's not the case now. We do have private utilities coming in and increasing the competition. Losing a customer to a competition could mean a significant financial hit. So providing reliable power is essential not just for their reputation, but also for their bottom line. It's not just the financial losses that utilities and industries face, though there are also indirect costs. Take residential customer, for example. While they might not experience the direct financial loss, but the frustration of poor service can be a huge pain point. Think about how many of us rely on home computers and the internet these days. Any power interruption, even if it doesn't cause significant damage, still leads to frustration and complaints. And for utilities, those complaints adds up requiring extra resources to manage customer services, uh, legal battles and regulatory uh, interventions. Here are some of the issues faced by utility due to poor power quality. The first one is the high stress on generators leading to premature failure and higher running costs. Now this is a significant topic because if the generator fails, of course, uh, it, it's a direct impact on the generation of electricity. So the amount of money you will be losing during that phase is very high. Reduced lifetime of equipment, for example, overheating of transformer due to the harmonics will reduce the life of the transformer significantly. Insulation breakdowns can happen because of over voltages. 
reduced efficiency and high cost of electricity due to losses on the grid grid instability and reduced network capacity now if you want to learn what is green grid stability and if you want me to make a video on that particular topic then do comment grid stability in the comment section if i get enough comments then for sure i'll make a video on grid stability and of course the increased downtime so these are some of the critical issues of poor power quality which is faced by the utility so from all this perspective from the customer perspective from the utility perspective power quality is super super critical and finally let's talk about the equipment supplier they face their own challenges in an extremely competitive market most customers want the product at lower price which often means cutting the corners cutting the quality this leads to a situation where many manufacturers don't design their equipment to handle common power disturbances unless a customer specifically request for it in the end it's the responsibility of the user to ensure their equipment meets power performance standards however most users especially end consumers might not even be aware of this risk that's where the utility can step in and provide crucial information about the power quality and how to choose the right equipment for long term reliability so whether you are in the industry or just someone who using a computer at home power quality affects you more than you think understanding this impacts can save you time money and a lot of frustration and hence power quality is certainly of a paramount importance now there are different problems of power quality like we have transients we have long duration voltage variation short duration voltage variations voltage imbalance waveform distortion voltage fluctuations and power frequency variations these are some of the problems or issues of the power quality about which we are going to talk in our next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the updates the next videos are definitely going to be really really interesting one because we are going to get introduced with the different power quality issues that we have i hope you have now clarity on what why the power quality is important If you found the video helpful then do like it and do share it with your friends thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning